Hi, I'm here at Harley Street Specialist Hospital, and yesterday I posted a video of me performing another high volume hydrodissection of a mid portion Achilles tendinopathy, one of the uh, procedures that I perform most regularly um, and with the highest success. Um, one of the questions I get asked most about my colleagues, um, as it's quite an unusual injection, and I'm clearly using more than just a standard syringe and needle, um, is, is how we perform it, the equipment that's needed. Obviously, everyone's familiar uh, with an ultrasound scanner, obviously, the injection is guided. Um, and, and this is the thing that probably stands out most, most different. This is a catheter with um, a stopcock and then two uh, 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 and this enables us to be able to change syringes uh, nice and easily at one end uh, whilst um, performing the injection at the other um, if it's potentially we use a lure lock uh, syringe and the, if I show you this, this lure lock has a little twist on and off cap at the front and this essentially twists on here and that means it can't come loose um, this enables us to uh, move this end almost as easily as a, as a pen tip under the ultrasound whilst being able to inject at the same time obviously if we were trying to inject with a big syringe and bearing in mind that the procedures often can be between 40 and 50 milligrams of fluid so that's this is a 10 mil syringe 50 mil syringe is, is a very large and ungainly thing to use um uh, means we can we can eat obviously imagine trying to inject with a big syringe like this um with a with a significant amount of fluid it would be difficult to control um obviously what we can do is we can just clip it on inject as soon as we need the next syringe they're all pre-filled next one clips straight on here um, and we can go again um <clears throat> these aren't the easiest things to get hold of um, they're not easy things to, to order. Um, obviously, one of the lucky things I work uh, in uh, private hospitals, and so they order this stuff for me. Um, certainly, uh, imaging departments are not really familiar with this sort of thing, performing injections like this. The one thing to remember if you're ever using one um, is to make sure you fill the line with fluid before you start injecting. We have about a mil or a mil and a half of air to inject in the patient first. So, make sure you fill it all the way through, make sure there's no bubbles before you start. Um, it's a might be a potential uh, mistake that you, you might well not want to make the first time you do it. And obviously any of you that um, wanted to order something like this, this, if I put that there, uh, is uh, what you can use to order. Um, I've got no idea where the hospital gets them from, um, but you can always try and search.